Hello, Dr. Joe here of the drjoe.com and the 2020 forum.com. When I published that video where I compared honey with table sugar using the facts and the science, I got quite a lot of hate mail, uh, which was totally unexpected. But that's the world we live in today. Now, because I am in the business of truth and verification, because that's what this channel is all about, I decided to take things to the next level. So what you're going to see here uh, is an experiment I carried out that will sort of exemplify what honey can do to your blood sugar within a short time frame. So essentially what you're going to see in this video is what Manuka honey did to my blood sugar in 30 minutes flat. So uh, let's not waste any more time. Let's get into it. So well, all I'm going to do here is a simple before and after test. The before is going to be checking my blood sugar with this monitor here. This is a blood sugar monitor. So the reading we get is going to be the before result. And then I'm going to take a spoonful of this Manuka honey here. Okay, Manuka honey, uh, which is supposed to be the best uh, honey, at least one of the best anyway. Uh, so, and then we're going to come back 30 minutes later to check my blood sugar again and that's going to be the after test so uh, let's get on with it so let's do the before test so I'm just going to turn on the blood sugar monitor okay it's turned on now so just going to prick myself and then squeeze out some blood okay got some blood here now apply it to the monitor okay so it's gonna read so this is my blood sugar reading now is 3.6 milli millimole per liter okay uh, if you multiply that by 18 it gives you uh, the milligram per deciliter reading. Okay, I'll do that for you anyway. So 3.6. This is fasting by the way I haven't had anything to eat or drink today. Okay, so um, next we're gonna do now is um, Add the manuka honey to water just a tablespoonful. Okay, this is just water here. Okay, water So we're gonna have a honey mixture in water so let's uh, Pour the honey now into. Oh, there you go. Uh, it's going over. So, we'll go here. This is a tablespoonful of honey. Okay. Put it into the water. Mix. Just gonna mix it. Okay. We still got some in the spoon, so I'm just gonna lick that really. <laughs> it's gonna be so sweet. Okay. Mm. Whoa, really sweet. So, this is a mixture. I'm gonna drink it now. Drank. Next, what time is it? So, the time now is 2.49, okay, p.m. So 2.49 p.m., we're gonna be back 30 minutes later uh, to see what my blood sugar is gonna be. It's that simple. So the time now is 3.19 p.m. So uh, this is uh, 30 minutes from when I had the, uh, the drink. So what we're gonna do now is the after test, okay? So uh, we turn on our machine, okay? So machine is turned on. So next, prick myself again. Squeeze out some blood. So we've got some blood here. Apply it to the blood sugar monitor so it's going to read. Oh, 
Okay, it has red. So what's the blush you gonna have? <laughs> there you go. Unbelievable. 5.8. Okay. 5.8 millimole per liter. Okay, so my blush sugar has jumped from 3.6 it was earlier. Okay. To now uh 5.8. That's quite a jump. One tablespoon full of honey. Okay. So uh let's see. Let me multiply it uh, for you guys who use a uh, milligram per deciliter. 3.6 times 18. So my fasting was 64.8, okay? Uh, milligram per deciliter. That was my fasting. And now, what have we got there? Uh, 5.8 times 18. 104 okay so i don't want to mince words uh my blood sugar jumping from 3.6 millimole per liter to 5.8 millimole per liter which is jumping from 64 milligram per deciliter to 104 uh, that's quite a jump okay i don't know if you need any more proof <laughs> that honey behaves like sugar well, if you were surprised at what manuka honey did to my blood sugar there, well, don't be. By the way, manuka honey is supposed to be one of the best honeys around. Uh, usually, the manuka honey you get from your supermarket shelves are authenticated before they are distributed to the retailers. So, you can always be sure of the quality of the manuka honey you're getting. That's why I used uh, manuka honey for this experiment. Anyway, back to my story. Uh, if you were surprised at the results of what Manuka honey did to my blood sugar there, well, don't be. Why? Well, it's because honey does have sucrose, just like table sugar. Honey does have free glucose, which gets readily absorbed. No digestion required, okay? So it gets readily absorbed into the bloodstream. Honey does have free fructose, which gets readily absorbed. No digestion required. Honey does not have any fiber, just like table sugar. So there is no fiber to apply the breaks on the blood sugar absorption. Hence, you have this rapid blood sugar rise. Now, there's one more thing to take away from this experiment. And that's the fact that if, for instance, you have a diabetic within your household and is displaying signs and symptoms of low blood sugar and you don't have any sugar in the house and you go honey well just do what i did in that experiment get some honey dissolve it in some water give the honey mixture to the diabetic and they will recover very quickly uh, from their low blood sugar so uh, that's something you can take away from this experiment now in the next video i'm going to be talking about uh, some of the issues that were raised in the first video i'm going to answer some of the questions and i'm also going to be discussing the metabolic effects of excessive honey consumption in the, the next video so be on the lookout for that now hopefully you got some value from this video if you did please give the video a thumbs up please like the video please share this video with your friends family and colleagues now if you got any questions any comments regarding this experiment or anything related to uh, honey and blood sugar rise go ahead uh, ask and or leave your comments down below I think that's about it. Until next time, well, this is Dr. Joe signing out.